Hi everyone, I'm here at AWS Reinvent. It's end of day three and I'm gonna check out what happened at the data and analytics booth here at the AWS Village. Let's do this. Let's actually go and check uh, what's happening uh, right now. Though it doesn't look like end of the day because it's all packed. Uh, so let's see, we're gonna go and check out first the AW Analytics Services booth here. Uh, so we've been, you know, obviously seeing all the conversations happening here, but not only just this, uh, I think there's Amazon SageMaker where we've been, you know, obviously seeing a lot of customers and a lot of partners who've been, you know, trying. There's, there have been, you know, trivia competitions nonstop, so I've been kind of also seeing those. Hi, say hi to the camera. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so a lot of things that are happening at Amazon SageMaker as well. Can I grab a minute with you? Uh, hi, my name is Ravit. I'm I just. Know, uh, thank you. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to learn what happened at Amazon SageMaker today. Uh, tell us more about what you've been hearing from customers, partners, anything that you would like to share with the audience. Yeah, I think uh, customers are really, really excited about the new IAM based domain setup. Nice. It's just one click onboarding. Um, earlier, we had to like have multiple steps to actually create a domain, create a project, etc. Now it's just one click. Anybody can come in and just start using SageMaker nice. just with one click, right? If you want to just query the data, you know, whatever service you're using today, there's a button underneath, just click it. It will be directly taken into SageMaker and you can do querying. You could do data processing, extraction. You can build your ML models. You could build your generative AI applications. Nice. You could orchestrate the whole thing all under one, one hood, right, in one UI. Right? Wow. You don't have to go switch between UIs, you don't have to go different places. We also need recently added support for like third party catalogs. Uh, so if you want to say uh, query a third party catalog like Snowflake, Polaris, or Databricks Unity catalog, right. you could federate it from uh, SageMaker. Right? Right. So you can just access the data which is still living in uh, Snowflake or Databricks, you could just access it from SageMaker. So I think customers are really, really excited about these features. Um, the one last thing I think that I am personally very excited about is the data notebooks, uh, oh, serverless nice. notebooks, which is basically, um, you know, I don't think any other vendor uh, offers or anybody else, uh, at least I'm very proud that AWS has started offering that, thinking that route, it's just because you don't have to manage the infrastructure behind the scenes for the notebook, right? Everybody thinks like my, Customers just leave their instances running for so long and I pay a lot of bills. They don't have to do that anymore. They just pay for what they use. Uh, love it. Uh, yeah, and, and many, many more, so I can keep going on. <laughs> I love it. Uh, thanks for sharing these. Uh, these are fantastic insights. Uh, congratulations on all the announcement. I'll keep the conversation going. I'm just giving a boot tour to our audience, uh, but thanks for doing this. All right, let's also go and check out what's happening in the streaming and messaging space. Uh, I know there's a lot of conversations happening, so let's see if we can grab someone. I see Austin here. Hey, Austin, how's it going? Doing good, doing good. Having a good evening, How about you? Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, I see someone here. Hi, uh, what's your name? Rafe. Rafe, uh, super excited to be here with you. Uh, we are kind of, you know, quickly going through the booths and learning what's happening at different booths. Uh, wanted to hear from you. What do you think about streaming and messaging? What are you here for? Yeah, uh, here learning. So we, uh, I work for a company called Empiricus. We sit in like the digital pharma space, HCP engagement right. with pharma companies. And so we do a lot of real-time analytics around our message sending campaigns uh, and all that monitoring. We use AWS for a lot of our cloud infra, but we don't use a lot of their services necessarily. So I came here to learn a little bit more about that, how we might be able to plug and play uh, with real-time analytics, streaming, and messaging here. That's awesome. Rafi, thanks for doing this. Thanks for letting us know how you're like being kind of using yeah. streaming and messaging in internally. Have a great reInvent, and thanks for doing this. All right, so it looks like there are a lot of interesting conversations that are happening at the data and analytics booths here at the AWS Village. Stay tuned and we're going to see what's going to happen on day four. So let's do this.